All right. Uh, we want to go for, through an algorithm to, uh, of uh, general algorithm of finding minimum of maximum of series. Uh, last time that we were talking about in class, I mentioned that uh, one way to do it is to uh, give the minimum and maximum impossible values that every single time you're checking it, it's going to be replaced with the value that you have, and therefore you're going to find the minimum maximum that way. Uh, but that's not the right way to do because sometimes there is no minimum value. There is no maximum value. There is no impossible value. If I told you, give me a few numbers and tell me which one is the min and which one is the max, you don't know the number that I'm going to give you what is the minimum possible value. You don't know. Because of that, that algorithm is not going to work. Now, first I needed to have samples, so I wrote this code quickly. First of all, I used the get int flush keyword and I called that divider draw line. So I have these functions used from the previous class that we had. This is the get int that gets an, int, uh, gets an integer um, foolproof. This is the flush keyword that flush your keyword. This is the one that draws a line. I'm using those to write a nice program. So I, have, I want to have series of values in, a, in an array. So uh, I define a minimum and a maximum value that user can have. Maximum value is the size of my array. Number is the number of samples that user wants to enter. I is my counter. I'm going to say, please enter the number of values, and I'm going to get an integer and put it in num. We wrote the function get int, so I'm not going to do scanf. If the num is less than minimum values or it's greater than maximum values, I'm going to say at least these num at least 20 numbers or whatever numbers, and the maximum of these numbers are acceptable, try again and I'm going to get it again. So it forces the user to enter between 5 and 100 um, for the samples. So it's impossible for user to go over my array and crash the program. It's absolutely impossible. Then I'm going to say print, uh, uh, please enter the numbers, and I'm going to get the numbers one by one. So at line 28, I'm going to have an array of num numbers. Now I want to find out which one is the maximum. OK? The best way is to, first of all, you create the exact same type of the thing that you have, and you call it max. The exact same thing goes for minimum. You do it yourself. So int max value. So max value is going to be the maximum value, OK? Instead of going through giving uh, max value an impossible value and then test it for the rest of the sample, the best way is to give it the first sample that you have, and then compare upon that one. So immediately, I have to say max value is set to values 0. So now, max value has the value 0. Now, the for loop that I'm going to write, instead of being from 0, to num, it's going to be from 1 to num. And then I'm going to do the comparison in here. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say, um, uh, if max value is less than values i, and it starts from 1, then I'm going to update max value to the value that is coming in. Then I'm going to say printf, the largest number, number in, in the values entered is percent D new line, and that's max value. So essentially, I wrote all that to give you this. OK? This values expected a semicolon where? Oh, I forgot to put an assignment. Remember I told you when you get an error, if it doesn't make sense, look at what behind it. See right behind it, I forgot to put an assignment. There you go. So I think it's OK now. Now if I run the program, first of all, because I reuse the functions that I have, it's completely foolproof. It won't accept anything other than the right, correct values that you have. 
Um, now I'm going to put over here 5. I'm going to put 23, 556, 34, that one, and this one. And it's going to say the, the largest thing that you have is 556. So essentially, to find minimum and maximum, you always give the first sample to minimum and maximum. And then you check the rest with that one and you keep going. And the maximum and minimum is found. All right? Any problem? Now, if you do not want to use an array, OK? If you do not want to use an array. So this is when I have all the values entered, then I check it. Correct? This is when I have all the values entered, then I check it. So that's, this is the good way of doing it. But let's say I do not want to use, I do not want to use an array. I want to get the samples and test it as I go. Okay, so I'm going to go uh, max in array. Let's see. That's max in array. Let's see. Now, if I do not want to use an array, so I have only value that I'm receiving, and I want to test it one by one and see which one is the maximum. How do I find that? How do I do it? So because I have to get the sample and test it on the fly, I start from, the, from zero. And I get the number. So I'm going to say printf. Please enter the numbers. Backslash n again. Now, <clears throat> now what I'm going to do, again, printf, let's get the number. That's the row i um, percent d dash or column. And I'm going to get the value. So I'm going to say value is set to get int. OK, now I need to put the first one in max value and then continue from there. So what you do, you write an if statement in here. You are saying first time the loop has happened, set the max value. So I'm going to say if i is set to, is, if, if i is 0, it means if it's the first time I am doing the loop, do this and the rest do that. So first time that is happening, I'm going to say max value is value. And for the rest of them, I'll do the testing. So I'm going to say if max value is less than value, then max value is value. So what happens over here, I don't have, a, I don't have an array over here anymore. The first time that the loop is happening, I get the value and put it in a maximum. The rest of them, I compare the values that are being entered with the previous value. And if the previous value is smaller than the value that I have, then I update it. So it's going to work the exact same way. The difference is that uh, this doesn't use an array. So if I use it, it's going to be exactly the same. Oh, I, what's going on? Oh. Unresolved printf on the phone. Oh, sorry. Printf. So let's actually walk through it. So I'm going to go F10. So essentially, it comes right to this point. Enter the values. I'm going to say 5. I hit enter. So the first time that it's coming in, it says, oh, <laughs> look at the number. Let me fix that. I forgot to put over here i plus 1. Stop. Do it again. So 5, OK. Now, I'll get the first value. I'm going to put over here 24, hit enter. So 
24 is entered and i is 0 because it's the first time it's happening it goes in here sets the max value to 24 then the else part was going to get skipped comes up now it gets the second one getting the second one if i put say i don't know 56 i hit enter it is not the first time anymore i is 1 else part happens compares 24 is less than value yes so it's going to make that 20, uh, max value 20, 56, goes back up. And for the next one, this time I'm going to enter 45, hit enter. Gets the value 45, comes over here 45. Uh, uh, 56 is not less than value, so it's not going to get updated. And as a result, the maximum is found. So that's how you find minimum or maximum in series of functions, series of uh, samples. That's all.